All right, today I'm going to show you how to properly set up and apply the Combat Application Tourniquet by North American Rescue Products, aka the CAT. And this is exactly how it's going to show up if you order one of these. So to set it up to make it easier for yourself, open it up. It does come with instructions if uh, you forget this little instructional video. And this is what it looks like out of package. Now, if you're going to be using this on an arm, you only need to go through the first little buckle here, like this. Pull it through about six inches, and then seal it back on itself, and let it hang in the middle. Then pull up from the middle, stick it on itself again, and then you can just put this in your pocket or you want this somewhere where it's easily accessible. Say if I have an injury on my left arm, I can pull this out, whip it out like that. You want to try to get the tongue to go towards the outside of your body. So you put your arm in, you want to put all tourniquets at least two inches above the wound. Pull it tight, and then this here is called the windlass, and all you have to do is twist this, you want to twist it until all the bright red bleeding stops, that's an artery, and then it'll lock into place here, put this part over it, and here's the windlass securing strap. And now you should have stopped bleeding. And now, if you have a leg injury, you want to pass it back through the second part of the buckle here, because legs a bigger muscle, and there's not going to be as much of this to grab onto the Velcro. You slide it over your leg again with the tongue sticking to the outside of your body. Pull it up to where it needs to go. And if it's on a joint, say if your injury is about an inch below your knee, you want to go two inches above the joint. You don't want to cause any extra damage to that joint. So again, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is that you go through the extra loop. Pull it tight. Crank down your windlass. And if you want to actually check if you're doing it right, you can check for your pulse. Or if you do it on your arm, check for your pulse. If you can't feel your pulse, then you get it right. Again, secure it, and you have your